All right, yo, what's going on, everyone? You guys got the Barakage of the Hidden Gains Village. I'm back here today for another super quick uh, tip video. Uh, before I get the video started, I just want to say that I'm sorry if uploads have been very sporadic and random and just off schedule uh, compared to uh, when I normally post. We were having a lot of issues with our internet here, and uh, uploads are literally taking days uh, for me to post videos, and there's not, it's not going to be fixed until uh, someone comes to look at it like at the end of next week. So once that's upgraded, um, uploads will be back to every other day. But please just bear with me for now. Uh, the schedule, I'm, try I'm trying, but you know, with the internet uh, acting the way it is, it's really hard to get videos out. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys understand and thank you for your patience with that. Anyway, in today's video, I'm going to be uh, sharing with you guys what you can do to break through uh, the five second barrier of Planch because I get tons of questions all the time asking like, hey, I unlocked Planch, but now I'm stuck at five seconds. What on earth do I do? And this is actually a problem that even I had when I was learning in my journey. I got Planch and then down the road, I just got stuck at five seconds. Now. <clears throat> The first thing that you should do is, if, if you take videos, which I highly recommend you, you do take videos of your training, what I would actually do first is just go ahead and take a look back and notice how your form has improved over time, because that's likely uh, the first problem. Your form has been gradually getting better, and because of that, it seems like your planche isn't getting anywhere, but it actually is. It's just a little bit harder to hold with longer form. So your form's improving, but the time really isn't, and it will just take more time of practicing planche to get that. I hope it makes sense. So definitely look back at your form and see if you can notice a difference, because I guarantee you will notice a difference in your form. Um, okay, but the, the first thing uh, to consider, right, um, <clears throat> that I did when I was stuck at five seconds of planche on the parallettes. Uh, I'm gonna show you some exercises for the parallettes you can do, but one of the best things that really helped me was stepping away from the parallel bars temporarily and practicing other variations of planche. You don't have to go crazy with it, practicing like super hard variations, but uh, I would recommend starting to practice floor, and if you really want to, you can actually start to practice either uh, pronated or supinated on straight bar, but I would start with floor because these two variations are a little bit harder. Uh, the straight bar requires a little bit uh, more balance than uh, parallel bars and floor, and also supinated uh, can be very stressful <clears throat> on your biceps, and then pronated can be very, very stressful on the wrist. So I'd be careful with those. Go ahead, start with floor planche. Uh, I guess I'll demonstrate a quick floor planche here. So, whoosh. okay, yeah. So planche on the floor, uh, you are gonna notice that it's pretty hard. You might not even be able to do it, uh, but just practice it, kind of go through the progressions again and reteach yourself planche just on the other surface. Um, <clears throat> And you'll notice that you're, you're progressing a lot faster. Like if you can do uh, five seconds of planche on parallettes and you're stuck there, I would say you probably, even if you've never practiced on floor, I would say you could probably do at least a straddle planche on the floor, but it will of course be pretty tough and will take a lot of practice to get it on the level of your parallel bar planche. Um, and then yeah, like I said, um, if you want to start incorporating either pronated or supinated, you can do that as well. So here's a supinated <clears throat> planche demo. This is just one that I prefer when I do uh, planche on bar. So <laughs> guess I was cheating because my <laughs> my foot was touching the strap there. Okay, that's the first step though. Uh, different variations of planche, and then you know maybe spend a couple weeks doing that. Go back, see if the parallel bar planche has improved. Okay, next thing. <clears throat> that really helped me was to start training handstand negatives. I've always talked about this one. It's one of my favorites, one of the best, um, in my opinion, for increasing planche. I've, de I've literally demonstrated this a lot before on the channel. Um, okay, but yeah, we have planche negatives. Um, 
So yeah, like I said, demonstrated this a bunch of times on the channel before, but I'll go ahead and I will uh, show you. So, oh my gosh, the stupid rings. Okay, yeah, so handstand and then down as slow as you can. Cheating again, because I'm on the straps. But yeah, down as, down as slow as you can. Try to hold it. And then, I, again, I, I usually say like sets of probably one on these because it is really tough. Uh, but you could do sets of like three if you really feel like it. <clears throat> um, and yeah, handstand negatives, another great exercise. And then also just trying to train um, <clears throat> planche presses. Um, and you can do that uh, with either straddle or full planche. Um, I, I guess I'll try to do a press here right now. All right. All right, yeah, planche, planche press or straddle planche press, whichever one is more comfortable for you. And if you feel good about it, you can also do the negative portion. Um, okay, yeah, I don't know what I'm waiting for. So here we go. Three, two, one. Yep, and then down if you can. All right. Yeah. Planche negatives. That's pretty much all I have for the video. It was a super quick one. It's literally just um, take a quick break from the P-bars, work on some other variations that are a little more challenging, go back to P-bars, see if it's improved, and then the other thing you can do is instead of focusing on just your attempts and holds, start working in uh, handstand negatives and uh, some planche press work and uh, that should help you break through the five second barrier um, once again guys keep in mind that it will just take time and over time your not only your form will improve but also your hold time uh, but these are some exercises that you can do to kind of speed up that process so uh, thank you guys so much for watching uh, please go ahead comment down below uh, future like tip videos or tutorials like this that you guys would like to see on the channel hit me with a nice subscribe no jutsu of course and i'll catch you guys in the next one deuces